You have no idea. Did you know it was his decree that forbade the Argonians from living inside the city walls? I hope in his next life he's reborn as an Argonian forced to live in a slum because of some bigoted Nord dictator. I'm joking, of course, but I'm a lot happier seeing the Empire running things in Windhelm. When Ulfric was killed, justice was done. That might sound harsh, but it's how I feel. Yes, markedly so. Ulfric and his Stormcloaks made no secret of their disdain for the Dark Elves. In fact, they didn't seem to care much for anyone who wasn't a Nord. The folk of the Empire have always had a more cosmopolitan view of the world, so I'm glad to see them in charge. Can't say I mind the sight of all the Imperial Guards. It's a change for the better. At long last, Windhelm is free. No longer must we suffer persecution at the hands of Ulfric Stormcloak. In some ways, yes. But there is often opportunity in chaos. When a new government takes charge, records can be lost, taxes can Windhelm's be forgotten, and laws aren't today. always enforced. The new guards are often too busy learning their responsibilities to notice a few smuggled goods or minor robberies. Not that I'd ever get involved in any of those kinds of things, of course. What do you want, milk drinker? Can't believe Ulfric's gone. If not for Hermir, I'd have left the city by now. I almost didn't. I wasn't sure I could stomach having some Imperial tell me how to live my life. I was ready to pack my things when Hermir came to me. She wanted to make sure I'd finished teaching her the smithing trade. That girl's determination won me over. I suppose it didn't hurt that she said she only wanted to learn from the best smith in Skyrim. I couldn't let her run off to that pretender, Jorlin Greymane. Could I? I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Ulfric his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Shore's bones. I might just have to. Aye, that I do. I ain't saying he was perfect, but he knew what it meant to be a Nord. The Empire's always taken us for granted. Nords died by the thousands in the Great War. And what did the Empire do? They outlawed the worship of Talos, Skyrim's most beloved son. Huh, there's thanks for you. I guess what I'm saying is, Ulfric stood up for us, and for all Skyrim. So who's gonna stand up for us now? Well, not yet. The Empire hasn't been in charge for that long, and real change takes time. Still, having a Fresh just and honorable and man like Brunwolf in charge can only be an improvement. Unlike Ulfric, Brunwolf has shown a great willingness to work with the other races and make us feel more at home here. For the first time in a long while, I truly believe that there are brighter days ahead. Ulfric was a true hero of Skyrim. He will be missed. You. Every time I look at you, my blood boils. I make no secret of it. I don't care if the Empire controls the city or not. I won't hide my loyalty to the dream of a free Skyrim. Ulfric fought for that dream with more courage and honor than any Nord who ever lived. But now he's gone. And the dream is gone with him. But I'll be ready when a new leader takes up the cause. As sure as ice is cold and stone is hard, I'll be ready. I hope the Wilds claim you one of these days. I'm afraid my days as the steward of Riften has come to an end. The Imperials now control Riften, and have placed Maven Blackbriar on the Jarl's throne. Perhaps the Stormcloaks might rally to take back Riften one day. Only time will tell. I don't like talking to someone who holds their honor so cheaply. Being in exile is the most humiliating thing I've experienced in my life. I killed scores of the Empire's men before I was forced to surrender. The only reason I stopped fighting was a plea from Layla. Otherwise, I would have fought to the death. 
damn Imperials. They won't hold Dawnstar forever. I should bash your face in after all you've done. You should leave. Skald gets upset around Imperials. I feel so helpless out here. The people of Riften depended on me, and I failed them. You have something to say, dog? Something on your mind? Unmid and Anuriel shouldn't blame themselves for Riften's fall. I am the one who's ultimately responsible. If Riften can be retaken, I will redouble my efforts to ensure the safety of my subjects and the defense of the Rift. I'd like to, but it's not as simple as that. Most of the folk in the city believe, as Elfric did, that outsiders should not be trusted. Until those people learn to accept the Argonians, they must remain outside, for their own safety. Old habits don't die easily, and we Nords can be as stubborn as stone. I've taken the first steps toward doing so already. I met with several of the Dark Elves to discuss improvements in the Grey Quarter, but we have no real plans as of yet. First, we'll need to refill our coffers and stockpile stone and wood. The war took a heavy toll on Windhelm's resources, but I swore an oath to our Dunmer friends that for as long as I sit on the throne of Windhelm, their needs will not be ignored. Every day is a struggle, but a Nord doesn't back down from a fight when the cause is honorable. I just wish things were simpler. In my days as a soldier, I knew who the enemy was, and how to defeat him. Unfortunately, a sword can't repair damaged buildings, feed hungry people, or undo years of prejudice. I don't care what the Imperials say. When Ulfric Stormcloak died, one of Skyrim's greatest heroes was lost. Now at last the Thalmor will get their way. The worship of Talos will finally be stamped out. Or so they think. Those true sons and daughters of Skyrim will never cease to worship mighty Talos. If we cannot do so in our temples, we will do so in our hearts. Oblivion, take the Thalmor. I'll never give up Talos, not even if it means my life. Let them come and make me a martyr. The throne suits me, don't you think? My title is just a formality. I've always been in charge around here. Jarl Maven Blackbriar has a pleasant sound to it, wouldn't you say? There are those who still call themselves Stormcloaks, who continue to fight us and bring misery to the people, but they are few in number. The ordinary citizen will be happy to get back to life as normal, to have their families return home, and they should enjoy it while they can. I suspect all of Tamriel will again be called to arms in the not-too-distant future. No. I suspect Skyrim to be my home for many years. I can't say I'll ever get used to the damn cold or understand these Nords, but I've come to respect them. The harshness of Skyrim has a way of carving a man down to his true self. The fiercest of the remaining rebels will continue to harass us, but by and large the people here desire peace. What I'm not so sure about is the peace we've made with the Thalmor. But we'll keep that between the two of us, alright? 